Carmelo McMillan was one of 21 students in the entire country that was sponsored by Apple to receive a full ride scholarship to Houston Tillerson University. Carmelo is the epitome of the phrase Eagle Soar. He is the best representative of what a Crowley Eagle can be. He had been accepted to several other schools and some of them were out of state, but when we presented him the information that he had a chance to get a full ride, he jumped on it and did everything he needed to do. And I couldn't be prouder of the fact that he's one of the representatives that is going to represent Crowley at this particular cohort. Being a first generation college student means almost everything to me. I've had a lot of older friends that had plans. Either they didn't go through with them or other things happened and you know, they didn't end up achieving their goals that they set for such a long time. Plus my father my whole life has been wanting me to go to college and just do great. My whole family has been wanting me to do great my whole life, but my father especially. And the fact that I'm going to college, I know that I'm making him proud. I know I'm making my whole family proud. Destination Diploma is the one-stop shop for intervention for Crowley High. And one of our main priorities is making sure the seniors get their stuff together for college. So whatever they want to do from a post-secondary standpoint, they're prepared. Carmelo has been one of our best and brightest. So at Houston Tillerson University, I plan on studying general education. So once I graduate from there, I plan on teaching whatever subject there is actually. My main thing is that I teach that subject the best of my abilities, plus helping kids that look like me, especially. If I, if I let someone know that looks like me, that you have a lot more opportunities than you think, and that you're capable of doing whatever you want, really, they might believe that and they might try to achieve those goals. I just want kids that look like me to have a better life. And because there's a lot of kids that are stopped early because of the choices that they make early. And I just want to change the most kids' lives that I can. I just want to help people. I love helping people. <laughs> I just want to change kids' life and change kids' mindsets so they can have a better life for themselves and their future families. One thing I really want to mention is my mental health freshman and sophomore year. It wasn't the greatest, <laughs> but then again, I've had, I had a very supportive system at home. I believe I made it harder on myself because I tried to be alone. I tried to be alone because I didn't want to be any sort of burden to anyone else that I cared about. This goes to anyone, but I just specifically want to point out to the guys, to the black kids, that um, your mental health matters. And if you're enduring any problems mentally, it really helps to open up to someone and not to keep everything bottled up because of a, you know, stereotype. Man, if you need help, then get help. I've went through those problems and I've got through those problems. So I know now anything that comes my way, I can get through easily. Crowley ISD really just helped me basically by having open arms and having these opportunities like the CTE Center or Destination Diploma or just having counselors, period, that actually cared about what you were going through as a student and as a child as well. I really could trust more people in school than I could socially and with my friends, so that was a big change for me and a big help for me as well. Carmelo is bright. He's really mature for his age. He's astute. He's a good judge of character. Academically, he's first rate. Carmelo has done everything we've asked and he's done everything that all of his other teachers and coaches and people have asked of, of him. And he's always done it, you know, with fidelity and with a smile actually. So I am not surprised by this. And at some point he'll come back to Crowley and be an excellent teacher. And then I think his career will blossom after that. He's on the verge of reaching his potential and he, and he knows what he's got to do to get there. I know what I'm capable of and I know exactly what I'm wanting to do. And I know that unless God himself stops me, it won't be nothing else to stop me. <laughs>